Hi guys, Leanna here. This is our end of May garden tour. This is our garden just one month ago. It's crazy how just in one month everything just turns green. This is the part of the garden that we had from, started in 2020. And this is the new part. These are the first four raised beds that Norman built when we first moved in. This first bed, we grew this from seed. These are beefsteak tomatoes. The second bed, I just recently put some onions, yellow onions in this side. On that side we have some bell peppers. These are going to be um, yellow, orange, and red bell peppers. I accidentally put some peas in this side, which is kind of crowding, but let's see how that goes. I planted this asparagus three years ago, and this is the first year that we are able to harvest. And it's kind of exciting after three years of waiting to get some really good asparagus. This bed is a combination seedless grape certified hemrod late summer harvest. I planted that in 2020. We have never gotten grapes on this thing, but Look at this. Can you see that? Looks like we might get some this year. And all down here is strawberries. We planted those, I think, the first summer. And they keep coming back. They are from Stark Brothers. And they've done really well for us. We get a lot of strawberries on them. I think they're the Everlast Everberry kind. They're really good. In this first bed, we have a mono orange tomatoes. Those are huge, almost two pounder tomatoes. They're like beefsteak tomatoes and they're bright orange, which will be pretty. I planted some little marigolds in there. I planted some basil, sweet basil right here in between, underneath, it's gonna be there. In this second raised bed in the new garden area, we have more tomatoes. This one is a sweetie, which is red cherry tomatoes. These are yellow pear right here. I bought those as starts right there. All three of these are supposed to be brandy wine red tomatoes, but this one is a mystery because it obviously is different than these with the different leaves. So these are the Brandywine Red, and this is the mystery tomato. We'll find out together what it turns out to be. Planted some ro rosemary on both sides. I love the smell of rosemary in the garden. On this third raised bed, we have some snow peas. They're coming up nice. We planted those from seed right directly into this raised bed and they look like they're doing pretty good. On this side, we have three Anaheim peppers and two sweet banana peppers with some marigolds for the bees. In this fourth bed is our hot peppers. We have four red Marconis and one Serrano. On this side, let's see, I forgot. This is butternut squash. And this one's cantaloupe. On this fifth bed, we have two, I think it's iceberg watermelon, and two jack-o'-lantern pumpkin with some marigolds. 
on this last bed, we have a combination of the Super Sweet 100 cherry tomatoes and the Sun Sugar cherry tomatoes, which are supposed to be really sweet and bright orange. So I'm excited about those. Over here, we haven't planted yet, is a long area that Norman just set up for us. And those seedlings are inside right now. I'll show you later. But that's going to be a lot of the bigger viney kind of plants like I think we're going to have at least 12 more, 12 more pumpkins, 12 cantaloupe, 12 watermelon, 12 jalapeno, and some purple zinnias, which is exciting. These I might move, these bell peppers right here, I might move over here. I just planted them there temporarily because I ran out of bed space. So now for the tour of our berries. I'll start with the yucky ones that aren't doing good is these two blueberry ones right here. These were actually planted the first year we're here, but they are just not doing good in their space. So we're going to probably move them. I don't know if you could see them through all these weeds, but these over here are honey berries. I got them at Stark Brothers. There's four different varieties. And I'm really excited because these were not thriving until this year. They were just barely hanging in there. And now, if you look, you can see we have some berries coming. Very excited. This particular one, the Berry Blue Honey Berry. So these are four honey berries right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the berries that we've had for three years so you can see how they're doing this these blackberries over here aren't doing that great they are growing from the bottom here um, but they didn't do this last year they didn't like look like this and we had tons of blackberries so I don't know if this means we're not gonna have any this year or what but these are all blackberries all the way down. This right here is an aronia berry. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's other, another word, another name for it is chokeberry. They are not very tasty, but they're very healthy. So you could put them in smoothies. Okay, in the middle row we have red raspberries. They're, they seem to be doing all right. Norm said that I pruned them, pruned them back too far, but we'll see. We might not get any this year. Not sure what's going on with this one. And then down here, these are Marion berries. These taste really good. I'm surprised. I never. These are also Marion berries right here. And. Is this where the boysenberries start, Norm? Yeah. This is where... Huh? Between the two metal posts are boysenberries. So between these two metal posts are boysenberries. Now up here are the best tasting berries that we have. And these, are, these are called the fall gold raspberries. And we ended up moving some of the starts into the new garden, as you'll see. I had to come back out here because I'm somehow I lost a clip of the new rows of vines here, the new berries. Um, this first row is blueberries. This second row is raspberries, red raspberries. And this third row, is the uh, yellow golden berries, the, the real sweet ones. 
And then over here are those trees we planted. So, anyway, this is the May Garden Tour. We're in the middle of a forest in Idaho, North Idaho. And because we're in the forest, we have deer. And unfortunately, deer want to eat all my plants. So that's why we have to have this huge fencing around the entire garden. I almost forgot, I have planted here on this line against the back fence of the new portion of the garden, sunflowers, those mammoth sunflowers. I can't wait. I can't wait till they come up and give us some big old sunflowers. A lot of them didn't make it. I had to replant some, but these made it. This whole area right here, it took me a day to weed this. It looked like this. Well, it wasn't this bad, It was, but it was like this. And I thought that the weeds had smothered out my, my sunflowers, but Sean and I came through. I showed him what those are supposed to look like, and hopefully those are the sunflowers that we saved out of all those weeds. I almost forgot, back here, we have three different types of elderberry. We have the York, Adams, and John elderberries. These three are elderberries and they are really growing. And over here, we have a black currant and Actually, this is the black currant. They called black consort currant. And this is the red, uh, red, I forget what kind of red currant it is. This is a red currant, but these are actually starting to have berries. So we'll have some currants this year. So these are our new, our two new currants. They're white currants that I got from my new friend Susie in Spirit Lake. I met her on Facebook and she's offering these uh, white currant starts, which I have the red and the black, but I didn't have white. And I heard those are really actually sweeter than the red and the black. So we'll see. We have some Josta berries that are doing incredibly well. These were the first to green out. They're like just sticks in the winter. And look how lush they are now. It's only the end of May. So I think we'll have a lot of Josta berries. Yeah. And these are some cherry trees that we planted in 2020. Look how thick this is. I think the reason, this is a Bing cherry. I think the reason this one is doing so good is because it's so close to the goat area. So we have a lot of goat compost there. This one, so two of these are Bing, and one's a super sweet Stella cherry, I think. They're doing really good. Look how big that trunk is already for only being three years in the ground. I can't wait to get cherries from these trees. Yeah. The rest of this video will be showing some pretty flowers and things growing outside of the fenced garden. These are things I didn't plant, but they come up each year, like these irises. Um, we have really pretty purple irises growing. These are as tall as me, almost. We have some we have some rhubarb in a hiding underneath some trees over here. It's pretty big. I think it's ready to harvest Norm. It is. It's 
some lilac, purple lilac. It smells so good. So thank you for joining us on our first ever garden tour.